Okay. Hmm. Hi, it's Mayo. <laughs> I'm way down here. Um, we're going to do a short, quick tips on art, raw art by Mayo, the art teacher. Um, we're going to attempt doing the gorilla today. It's going to be a short one. And uh, we did the tiger the other day. And the black rhinoceros, you can see also on YouTube, we added. I'm always adding new creatures to my virtual Noah's Ark. It's a, it's a, uh, a dimensional, um, a multi-dimensional rectangle, a modern Noah's Ark, let's say. And all the animals walk to it and float up into a mul another dimension, another plane where they're safe. And in each male I'm painting has a chip with a DNA. Um, it has a chip with... Um, a precious female egg so when they can go to another place and be safe so they don't get um, encroached on their habitat doesn't get cut down there's no respect for the earth um, pollution uh, everything that we do and don't take into consideration is we live together with these creatures we we're all on this planet together so we should respect that and we wouldn't lose any species anymore but I do have a little tag at the bottom that says um, humanity has managed to kill 83% of all mammals and half of all the plants. And this is a study from um, August 2016. So uh, let's start the gorilla. It's basically a simple palette. It's ivory back, black, titanium white, and a little bit of burnt umber. So here we go. So I'm going to use this nice brush and we're using a little bit of turpinoid. And we're painting in. Before you do this, watch my video on the tiger. Um, we had to skip the chalk. So I take a piece of white chalk and I get a reference photo. You can get any reference photo, any position on the internet. And I put in my ivory black after I chalked them in with white chalk on the canvas. And it's wet on wet. It's oil. So I put in my ivory black and I put in his body. And I made the shapes according to my reference photo and then I put in titanium white after I put in the titanium white then I take my beautiful fan brush and this is great tool see this fan brush is spread it out and it makes hairs so we can get our gorilla hairs in this is a short one today because I already kind of got them in. Um, and then we can take a little bit of, I told you, that burnt umber, another great color, and put that in. So I'm going to go back in and put some titanium white on there and just put some highlights in on here, here, here. And we got our gorilla. It is a silverback, so... We can go back in too with a little black here and make a kind of a gray tone with titanium white and a little black and put in some here too, see? And it gives a little bit of a highlight. So we got our gorilla in and this is wet on wet. It is oils, wet on wet. It's just um, turpinoid I use and I kind of keep it kind of wet because um, it's wet on wet so it's like watercolor consistency. It's very thin. And we can put in our animals. And if you want to make any adjustments or add to it, you got to probably wait a week or two for it to dry. So today we just finished our silverback gorilla. And then I'm going to continue to do add an animal. We're going to add the elephant, get him in. And I'll show you how to chalk him in. He's kind of in there anyway. And we got the lion we're going to work on a little bit. And quick tips on art on the leopard and the giraffe. And then we're going to go ahead over here and this, when they get into this virtual Noah's Ark, we're going to fix these animals a little bit too because I kind of shaded them and fogged them out. So thank you for watching. Sponsor me. Um, give me the thumbs up and I will teach you short, quick tips on art, raw art by Maya. Look me up on YouTube and we'll continue doing one animal at a time. You can learn how to paint animals and then you can add them to whatever composition you want. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.